South Dorchester friends, I have missed you all so terribly. Um, I figured I would do something pretty cool and do this draw with Mrs. Perigen. Um, so I'm going to do a series of three videos, one for primary, that's pre-K through second grade, one for elementary, third through fifth grade, and one for middle school. So um, each one will be a little bit harder. Um, but if you're in primary grades and you want to try and do the elementary video or if you're in elementary and you want to try the middle school video, please challenge yourself. Um, none of this is for a grade. This is all just if you're bored and want to do something. Um, so this week I thought that I would start with um, the subject of my puppy dog. And I chose her because in this crazy, crazy time of being stuck at home, she has given us lots of love and we've been able to be a little more active because um, we take her for a walk at least once a day. Um, so artists will tend to use resources. So I've printed out some pictures. This was her after her bath because she got really muddy one day last week. Um, so this is a picture of her after her bath. So we're gonna we're gonna break her down and in, into um, our geometric shapes and and draw her. So um, in the weeks to come, please by all means give me some suggestions. So far, I've had the suggestion of turtles. So that will be next week's videos. So um, please send me an email or a message or whatever. Um, and give me some some uh, suggestions on what you'd like to draw. So, without further ado, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started with our first drawing. Um, we are gonna break her down into geometric shapes. Um, remember we talked about before we left uh, emphasis, which is the very first thing that you see when you look at a piece of artwork. Um, there's two ways that you can achieve this and one is size and the other is color Since we're using paper and pencil, we're going to focus on size, but that doesn't mean that you can't go back and add color to it You're More than welcome to add crayon color pencil marker, whatever it is you have um, I'm just using regular computer paper um, for this simple drawing but of course you can use whatever um, materials you have. All right, so again, I'm gonna start with breaking her down into geometric shapes. Um, I'm gonna start with her muzzle here. And I see that as kind of being more triangular. Now remember, draw light until you know it's right. Um, then I'm gonna kind of square it off right here. And then I'm gonna do her Head, which is kind of a square and um, I'm going to add her mouth down here I'm going to bring this line in a little bit and I'm going to bring this line down and I'm going to give her a jaw right here And her nose is very triangular, so I'm just gonna use the edge of that shape right there and add her nose. Um, and her ears are triangles as well, so her ears stick up kind of like a German Shepherd or um, uh, her breed is actually a boxer and a husky, so a lot like those breeds. All right, so I'm gonna draw the back of her neck and her other ear kind of floppy. So I'm going to start, I'm going to do a kind of a triangle. Now you can make your dog look however you want to. So if you want to change that, you are more than welcome. This is your artwork. Now because she is, um, I'm going to do geometric shapes. I'm going to make her eyes really big and very round. So, so I'm going to change it, change her picture a little bit to make her very cartoony looking. And I'm gonna give her eyelashes because she's a, a girl dog. I'm gonna give her some eyelashes over here. And 
she's always melting our heart, our heart when she gives us those puppy dog, those sad puppy dog eyes. I'm gonna give her puppy dog eyes. I'm gonna give her some whiskers here. Now, my background is pretty simple and pretty boring because she's just sitting in the living room. She's already had a bath. So we are gonna, I'm gonna change it a little bit and I'm gonna make it so that she's outside. I'm gonna do a horizon line. And if you guys remember, that separates my ground from my sky. Um, she loves, loves to play with tennis balls. So I'm gonna draw a tennis ball next to her, sitting in the grass. I'm gonna draw a circle to do that. And we have a park right next door to my house, so I'm gonna do a swing set in the background. Now remember, when things are far away, they get smaller. Those are the rules of perspective. So I'm gonna add my swing set in there. Maybe add some trees, cause it's a park. And clouds. Now, a good way to, to draw a tree, um, if you want to break it down into geometric shapes, is I can do a triangle and then another kind of a triangle and another triangle and then I can just kind of erase those middle lines and it'll look like a tree. That's a pine tree. So um, again, you can add whatever it is you want to it. If you wanna add you playing baseball in the background, um, if you wanna add your son, remember that if you make it too big, it'll look like it's taken over the world. So make sure that you remember as things get farther away, they get smaller. All right, so here's our drawing right now. It's pretty simple, pretty quick. Um, Again, add color if you would like to. You know, if you were in my class, I would I would want you to add some color. Um, but you're at home, so you can do whatever you want to. If you wanna draw it with pen, doesn't matter to me. Um, leave me any comments. Um, I think that you can do that through YouTube, but you can also leave me comments on Facebook, or you can email me, or um, your parents can uh, send me messages on Remind or Class Dojo whatever is most convenient. Um, but I really hope that you guys have enjoyed drawing today with me. Um, oh, actually I forgot her triangle in her ear. See, you always go back and you find things to improve, right? That's what a good artist does. Um, again, I hope you enjoyed drawing with me today and um, I look forward to drawing with you again next week. I hope everybody stays safe and I hope everyone is healthy. Um, and again, I miss you very, very much. Have a great week.